Hi, I'm John Pula from Cigar Advisor and Famous Smoke Shop with another edition of Fan Mail. And the question I got today, what's better for lighting cigars, a soft flame or a torch lighter? Asks Frank. And this is a great question because how you light your cigar and how well you light your cigar determines how well your cigar will burn and really sets the tone for your entire smoking experience. So let's talk a little bit about each flame and answer Frank's question. There is blue torch jet flame and there is yellow soft flame. The blue flame, intensely hotter than the yellow soft flame, obviously. I mean, they're both hot. Hold your open hand, palm down about six inches over the top of a uh, soft flame or a match and you'll feel the heat almost instantly. And that's plenty to ignite a delicate wrapper leaf. And both use butane fluid. It's actually butane gas in liquid form under pressure because it burns hotter and cleaner. This, not so much. Fill your lighter with something like this that's been refined to remove more of the impurities that can build up and clog the inner workings of your lighter. Bic lighters like these, these use butane too. You just can't refill them. And I know that a lot of guys swear by their torch lighters, but I will say that whenever I've been to a factory or a blending seminar, what do the old timers pull out to light the leaf or light their cigar? A bic like this. And as far as using Zippos or anything that burns with lighter fluid, well, that's a whole other video, but I'll just say I personally don't use them. So let's get into this. First, the torch lighter, the avid cigar smoker's flame of choice. Probably the most effective way to light a cigar because it's best for giving you control. It's a focused flame. So even though it's so hot, it's easier to work with, kind of point and shoot. And you have a variety of choices. There's a single flame, there's a double, there's a triple, like this one over here. And there's even a quadruple jet, for almost like a tabletop version. Hot, powerful, the to torch toasts and lights your cigars more quickly. It's also more wind resistant. But because the flame is so intense and highly concentrated, you have to be careful not to overlight or scorch the cigar because you'll taste that burn and taste that char. And I think that's pro some of the problem that people have using a torch lighter. The guy who has a little petite Corona and he uses this big bunk and quad jet flame and wonders why he took all the hair off his left hand and the cigar looks like a brush fire and doesn't taste right. So the trick to toasting and lighting, try to hold the flame as far away as possible while still permitting the foot to get going. Still, a torch is easier, but not necessarily better, and that's part of what Frank's question was about. As for the soft flame lighter, this is the match type flame. Most flame lighters are single flame. Though I've seen some doubles, they're a little harder to find, but when you're working with one flame, it takes a lot longer to toast the cigar. There we go. Personally, I prefer these for thinner ring gauges, but they can be as effective on as big a cigar as a Churchill. Now, a lot of cigar smokers prefer the lower temperature of a soft flame like this, especially when toasting their cigars. And you can call it old school, but I find using a soft flame is very zen. You hold the flame just shy of the tobacco until it turns black. Actually toast it with the heat, take a whiff, the aroma of just that little bit of smoke and giving some smoky heat to the tobaccos. That's a really enjoyable scent right there. You're lightly applying flame at the foot, warming the tobaccos, releasing the oils, caramelizing the flavors. It also helps you avoid getting a bitter charred taste in the opening puffs. Just toast, like bread. You don't need to reach full ignition. That's like burning your toast. If that was your breakfast, you would not eat that. The soft flame is half the temperature of the torch, much cooler. But if you really want to go the cool flame route, stick matches and cedar spills like these burn even cooler than lighters. Now cigar matches, these run about four, generally four inches long. They give me more time to light your cigar. If you don't have those handy, you can go to the shorter two and a half inch stick matches. I'd say skip those if you can help it. You'll probably go through half the box. And then there are the book style matches. I would say do not even bother with these. You'll probably go through at least half the book and most likely burn your fingers and thereby ruin the mood. So expect that it will take a couple of cigar matches. These are the cedar style, longer ones. It usually takes me three to get my cigar started. And granted, it can get a little messy. Now, it's obviously harder to do outdoors when you have a little bit of some breezy conditions. Now, whatever soft flame source you're using, the same advice prevails. Don't let the flame actually touch the cigar. The heat coming off the tip of the flame provides more than enough energy to toast and light your cigar. It takes some practice, but you'll hit a sweet spot where the flame will jump up to the foot. And it may take a little longer, but when done right, the results taste excellent. 
Now we cover the actual steps for lighting cigars in some of our other videos. The Nick Perdomo method is pretty much the gold standard around here for how to light a cigar with a torch. So before you leave today, I encourage you to go and check that out along with our other how-tos on matches and cedar spills and some more of our articles at CigarAdvisor.com on how to light cigars. But as far as Frank's question, which is better? Well, it's actually about what's more convenient for you. And that's up to you. If you want to pinpoint accuracy in a quick light, especially outside, go for the torch. If you're the slow and steady type, the model of patience, then a soft flame might be a nice change of pace for you. Switch it up every now and again and see if you can taste a difference. But regardless of what method you use to light your cigar, the important thing is don't rush it. If you like this Q&A, like this video, then click subscribe and make sure you get every one of our Cigar Advisor videos and get notified for a heads up when we post the next one.